Well, Ben and Jen, uh, Kristen Blandon, Kirsten Blandon rather, was uh, just watching a movie in her apartment with her husband when she heard a loud noise outside. That's when she started rolling on her uh, cell phone as well as calling 911. What she didn't know is the woman being pulled out of that flipped over car was a state lawmaker. Um, yes, a driver, and there's people helping her out. She flipped her car. Kirsten Blandon describes the moments after hearing the wild rollover crash on Capitol Avenue Thursday night from her apartment. I heard this loud noise outside, so I got up to see what it was and saw a vehicle bouncing down to, to its final position of being overturned. Cell phone video shows the owner of the red carpet barbershop coming out to help Comey out of the car. She was thinking about leaving the scene, like she was going leave the scene and we were like just have a seat like you know until you know the uh, professionals get here. The woman behind the wheel state representative Robin Comey. Thursday night Fox 61 cameras captured video of police performing three separate field of sobriety tests which according to the police report she failed. She was then arrested for operating a motor vehicle under the influence of alcohol. I was just shocked that you know someone like that high up in the government would um, do something like this, you know, you're supposed to be a leader and and that's kind of sad to see that she would put herself and then also other people in the area in that position. Just one hour before the crash, State Representative Comey addressed her constituents on Facebook. Please don't hesitate to reach back out to me. Comey was stripped of all of her committee and leadership assignments in the state legislature until further notice. Connecticut House Speaker Matt Ritter released a statement today saying he hopes she focuses on her health and well-being. While the House Minority Leader Vincent Candelora said, I wish her well in any endeavor to seek help as she reflects on the seriousness of what transpired. This isn't the first time Comey has had a public incident with alcohol. Two years ago, she was slurring her words when she was trying to speak on the floor of the state house. Um, um, uh, Following that incident, she wrote an apology stating that she was exhausted and had been drinking wine with dinner that night. The incident garnering national attention and prompting state leadership to crack down on drinking inside the state capitol building. Now, the police report said that State Representative Comey was hesitant to give a breathalyzer test, though it later revealed that she had a 0.14 blood alcohol level, which is nearly twice the legal limit in Connecticut. Live in Hartford, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.